Yo, what is up guys? Trevor Roskovinsky here and on today's video we're gonna do a little updated guide on the new Swift Soul, what the app looks like, because I know I get a thousand questions, and you know, I think it'll help you guys out a lot. I cook with it consistently, now that sometimes it does flop here and there, not usually, but we did have a little issues on the Crossbox logo team, but it's not a big deal. Uh, they still cooked restocks, they still ate, and it's all on your phone, and it's just so freaking easy to use. If you don't know what Swift Soul is for your iPhone yet, or on the iOS, you know, platform, then I don't know what you're doing, you must be living on a rock, Everybody's talking about this freaking app because it's insane. All right, starting off at the home page. We do have like the read me and this and to give you guides. I definitely recommend reading guides. Now I'm gonna tell you kind of how I do it, but reading the guides helped me a ton and that's kind of how I learned everything about it. You can see your successful checkouts, all my purchases. You can see I have Crossbox logos here from the previous weeks, you know, Crossbox uh, hoodies, uh, cause they ate, they ate. And then you can go over to your settings screen, which is the bottom right hand corner, which is the little tool tab. From here, you can have your webhooks, notifications, skip bad items, so if you're multi-carding and you're paying for premium, which we'll get to that, um, it will skip a bad cart if it's out of stock. Double harvester, uh, you get the background mode, which background mode means it will run while you're not even on the app, and if you need to capture it, it'll, it'll alert you. You can go over and solve your captcha if you don't get one clicks. Uh, compact view makes it look a little bit different, easier to use on the iPhone. I don't use that version. Uh, and then custom delays. Now, if you're new to it, I don't recommend using custom delays because when you do do that, uh, you can, you have to set them all up yourself. And you know the, the developers' delays have done so well for me. They know what they're doing. Um, and if you're new, like I said, definitely just use the default delays. As you go further down, we have the AYCD auto solve, which are really good for the captchas, API keys, which I don't deal with that. I do not, I don't have that implemented. Um, if you're, if you have knowledge in that, go ahead and do it. Now I know they have been cooking with those, uh, with that, with that toolbox implication or implementation. I, I just have not done that yet and I don't have access. Next, we do have the billing profiles here. I did clear all my billing profiles to show you guys a fresh copy of Swift Soul. We can hit the top right hand corner of the little plus member, plus member, plus symbol, and then you can put your profile name, which I, th that's how I, this is how I like see my different profiles. Like I'll do different credit cards and I'll name them, and then all your name, your email address, just like always, just like every everything you gotta put in, just like your checking out screen. Um, you know, you got your address, your city, payment information, and then it's really easy to adjust your address on here. So I run multiple copies. Um, you can adjust your address and it's very easy. Uh, and I, that's what I recommend doing. If you're gonna do this, I, w I recommend running a couple copies of one credit card. Now I'm not saying you do that all the time, but if you have multiple copies running on it and you can hit on one of them, you can can't, the other one will stop, but it gives you better chances. Now if you have more questions about that, you can ask me down below and I'll kind of help you how to adjust your address so that, um, so that you can make the copy of profiles. Next, let's move on over to the task. This is where it gets fun. You get a little task button in the top right hand corner and you can create a task. Now, of course, you're gonna need a billing profile. It's gonna ask here. Now, say we're gonna go for the Chucky doll, which I definitely went for the Chucky doll and I still, I struck out on this one. Um, you go know here, before you can make a task, you need to make a profile. Head over to the profile page to make one. So we can go over here, profile test. We're gonna go test one. Here, one, two, three, four, whatever, at gmail.com. Address line, you know, I'll do 610 North uh, South. I don't know. Country, doesn't matter. Phone number, blah, blah, blah. There you go. There you go. There you go. City, we'll just do a random city. Let's see here. We'll do Indianapolis. I have to, I have to say it like that because I don't know how to spell. Then we're on the city and then you got to do the state, of course. Now that may give me an issue. Card number, just random card number. Zero, and then here you actually have to completely spell out the date. There's a profile. And now it doesn't check to see if it's a legit address. Now that's on you. If you're gonna be running a profile and you're gonna be doing this, you need to know your address. And if you have a wrong address, it's gonna give you errors. Uh, so you know you can't blame it on the bot. You gotta make sure your address and everything is correct that you have set up with your, um, with your bot and your credit card. Now we're gonna create a test. Now you know we're gonna go back to the Chucky doll because it is fire. Chucky doll, you hit here, size random test, quantity one as always, unless you're running different ones, but I always do recommend quantity one, then you can do more on the next profiles. So you can do this, caps harvester. Now task mode, now when the initial drop, say it's Thursday at 11 a.m., you're gonna go drop mode. 
Now, after that period of time, like say it's 12 or so, I definitely recommend running restock mode. It does help and start time manual or custom. Now I do manual and start them all, but you do have a custom panel here where you can start it at an hour time, which if you forget and you wanna start them at a certain time, that's great. Um, but I always run manual and then I save the task. Um, and then say we're gonna create another one because that was probably not the best one. I wanna show you guys sizing. Let's go on, let's go on down to the good old Crossbox logo tees, which I did want one, but I did strike out. We're here, quantity, size, random, small, medium, large, extra large. Now, if you don't care what size and you're going for resale purposes, random, random, random is the move, guys. It just increases your chances. Increases your chances, same with color. Now, they do load in every color that you want. Now, if you do want this just one size and color, that makes sense. But if you're really just trying to get a size, any size to resell, I run random all the time. Um, then the capture mode, I do capture harvester because I don't have the AYCD toolbox. Uh, and that will, I'll show you that next. Task mode, drop mode, then manual, save task. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. Next, we do have the, we're gonna add here, you're gonna wanna add a Gmail. If you don't add your Gmails, once you do this, you add your Gmails. Now this will allow you to solve those captures. So I hit the add Gmail login. Now it does lag a little bit to get over to the Google screen, but that's just normal. Don't think your phone's messed up. You're gonna want this because it's gonna allow you to get those one clicks. And I import and add my Gmails about 10 minutes before, 20 minutes before the uh, before it drop times. I know they say, some people say that do it after you start the harvester, but I import my Gmails right after, which it, I usually start my harvester at like 10 minutes or so. Um, the harvester is gonna allow you, now we're gonna go ahead and hit the harvester button here in the bottom left hand corner, harvester. And it says captures will appear here. Now when you import those Gmails, that's what intertwines. When you have the, the Gmails imported, you can solve the captures when it goes off. Uh, so when it finds the products and it says capture needed, half the time I don't solve them. Now, I, you do sometimes, you got a ton of tasks, you will solve captures, but if you're running four, five, six, I haven't solved a capture in a while on Swift Soul. It just, it, it gets all the captures for you, everything happens. We'll go back up here, you can clear the Gmails, but like I said, always have the Gmail imported or you're not gonna be able to solve your captures. You may be able to, but you may get those fading, those slows. When you add those Gmails after your task or after your harvester has been started, you are gonna just, you know, you're gonna be able to get those one clicks, they're fast. Now I even add, I even add the Gmails before I add my harvester um, people, but I'm saying doing it after the harvester because some people were telling me uh, it doesn't work. It's worked for me. Um, I just wanna make sure you guys are on the right track so you can cook on the next drop. You get the three little buttons down here and you can mass edit your task. From here, you got drop mode, restock mode, uh, capture harvester, AYCD, and it's super simple. Then you can start here, start the task, initializing, initializing. So you can see it's out of stock right now because you know it is a uh, Friday at 6.32 a.m. in the morning. Um, and they did where they were doing a ton of restocks. Now, if it does happen, it'll go all the way through uh, and then it'll ask for your capture. It'll make this little da ding sound and you'll have to either solve them or you may get one clicks, which I get lucky with Swift Soul and I get the one clicks. And one of the coolest things I really do like about this on the create task um, side is it does even show you the resale value, which is really cool. Um, now, of course, you know, that's not always uh, accurate, but it's like you know, what the market's predicting. Uh, and you can even do custom custom made ones. Uh, but I always recommend doing pre-made. And you can even do the in-store sign up here in the task creator. Once again, here's the home screen. It shows you everything you need. It shows you all your purchases. You can see I have hit a decent amount with this. Um, it just it just eats and it makes everything so freaking easy, guys. So I hope this helped you guys out. Now we're back over to the settings screen. One last thing, they do have a Discord that I recommend getting in. They do post an announcements and they show you everything that you need. Uh, they have a Twitter, Instagram, they have term of use guides and contact information. Now I know I've heard some people have problems when they do buy it and they can't get access. Reach out to them, they respond really, really quick. That's what happened with me and it was perfect. All right, one last thing before I do forget guys, I forgot about the premium feature. Now the premium feature is kind of how I was talking, it's like $3.99 a month, and what you can do here, as you can see I'm on the task page, the little cart button right here at the top. You can do that and you can see I have cart ISY and cart ESX. Now if you hold down on ISY cart and drag it to the ESX cart, or vice versa, it'll allow you to do two carts or two items in one cart. Now this will save you on uh, shipping costs because the shipping cost is very high if you know from Supreme. Now. 
I'm not saying this is the best idea, but that's where that skip bad item is. Um, so if it's in the same cart and one goes out of stock, it will skip it and still check out. It will slow it down and this isn't the fastest route, but it is an option if you have premium. That is it for the guide here. If you have any more questions on it, please let me know. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I know being a first time on like a iOS app that you're not used to, it can be confusing. But I hope I kind of showed you guys and showed you how easy it was. I literally went through and set up a task. Now it was a test task, of course, or a pro billing profile and task, just like that. And I showed you how to import your Gmails, which is very important. Once again, you got to start those harvesters because that will get you those one-click things. Now they do recommend on a very high drop that you don't enable double harvester. Um, it does use more processing power and it'll slow down your phone. And let's be honest, we're just running on phones. We're not processing on our huge desktops that have a lot more power but for the phone app you know i've ran up to up to 10 tasks and it was pretty fine I mean, but i do have the 11 pro one of the newer iphones so keep that in mind if you have an older device just just be aware it may slow down it does use i mean it does use a lot of power um you're running a bot that's you know it, it's pretty it'll, it'll use a lot of power when you're running it um, I've, I've had my phone lag sometimes here and there and that's just part of it and that's also why I start my harvester so early uh, That's why I add my gmails just to make sure to check so it doesn't crash And the last thing you want is to get ready to go get ready for the drop and your app crash And then you're late for the drop and you most likely miss it and you have to try to hit restocks And if you've ever tried botting trying to hit restocks is not easy so guys, if you have any more questions, feel free to let me know down below and I'll answer any of them. And if you haven't, you can reach out to me on Instagram, which I respond to every single DM. Um, so I, and I can help you there as well. But that is it for this one, guys. If you did like this one, please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Peace!